Bitch alert. This is a bitch alert. Bitch alert. This is a bitch alert. Yeah, Mary Beth and Pedro, the sheriff up here, called this case troubling. A journalist allegedly killed by a politician he covered. We also learned today that that journalist may have collected a key piece of evidence against his alleged killer just before he died. The evidence that Clark County's elected public administrator, Robert Tellis, is the person who dressed up in this disguise to murder investigative reporter Jeff Gehrman of the Las Vegas Review Journal is growing. Gehrman was found stabbed to death outside his home last week, but in court, the prosecutor suggested Gehrman didn't go down without a fight as DNA was found under the dead man's fingernails. The DNA recovered from the victim's hands under his fingernails, they do identify the DNA as the defendant's. Tellus's animosity to the reporter was well known. Earlier this year, Tellus lost his bid for re-election when he was beaten in the Democratic primary. That loss came after Gehrman had written articles detailing claims of bullying and favoritism at the public administrator's office, along with allegations of an inappropriate relationship the married Tellus was having with a subordinate. On June 18th, Tellus tweeted, Looking forward to lying smear piece number four by Jeff Gehrman. This has been an unusual case from the beginning. Thursday, the sheriff and his team laid out more evidence they found against Tellus. They say this SUV that the straw hat wearing suspect was seen driving near the journalist's home is the same kind as this one, owned by Tellus's wife. Searches of that SUV and Tellus's home uncovered other evidence. We recovered a pair of shoes, as you'll see here on my screen here to the left, that match the suspect's description. Um, also, as you can see, there's apparent blood on the shoes, and the shoes were cut, likely in a manner to try to destroy evidence. In addition to the shoes, we recovered a straw hat that was also cut in, uh, in a manner that was likely to destroy the evidence. So, Chip, what's next here in this, in this case, and what happened in court today for uh, Mr. Tellis? Well, the prosecutor argued for no bail in court. He basically said there are some cases where there is overwhelming evidence where the law calls for no bail. The judge agreed, so the defendant was given no bail in this case and is due to be back in court next week facing a charge of murder. All right, Chip, thank you so much. Crazy case. Yes, sir.